it's another wednesday and you're welcome to the enoch Kabang audio experience my name is enoch and i'm your host as usual uh, today is actually a continuation of last week's episode which was on building a personal brand on social media if you're not listening to that episode i encourage you to do listen to it because we are not going to go back to what we covered last week so going straight forward to what we have to do today uh, today we'll be going through the three things you can commit on social media, the, the various social media platforms and what you can use them specifically for. Also, we'll be going through the core value activities you should be engaging on social media. And the fourth area we'll be looking at is tools to help you rock social media. Yes, as a form of revision, I'd like to take you through what we did last week, which uh, was actually on what a brand is, why personal branding is important and how to audit your brand. So if you want more cl- clarification on any of these, you should go back and listen to last week's episode. So straightforward to this week's topics. Firstly, the three things you can commit on social media. Social media is a very it's a very nice place to be and mostly the current culture has made us to be so self-centered and so we tend to behave in a certain way when it comes to social media. Therefore, these I, I came up with these three things that we can all comment. Now, there are so many people on social media. Some are trying to promote their businesses. Some are trying to promote their churches. Some are trying to promote all sorts of things. And I can tell you, there are even malams on social media sending people's requests and sending them messages. So there are a whole lot of things happening. The first thing you can actually commit is spamming people. You see, when you are on the side of the person sending messages to people, you may think it's normal. I just want people to know about my product or I want people to know about my service, so I'm just sending it. But you see, in reality, this is actually very annoying. Most people get annoyed but they won't tell you they may simply block you or just leave it at that if, if they wanted to buy a product from you because of the spamming you've been doing they may probably not even buy again and you may be losing customers without even knowing it and this is actually the danger of it because when someone blocks you it's usually hard to get to them afterwards so spamming is a no-no on social media please don't do it and the second thing you can commit on social media is about always posting about yourself. There are some people that all the time is they are, they are, they are, they are trying to draw people to themselves, trying to bring up things that are always all about them. Social media is, is social, so please don't try to be about all yourself all the time. I mean, it's a way of giving updates of yourself to your friends and family. Okay, you are doing this, you are doing that. But please, it has a limit. Try to also go to people's status and timelines. Try to comment, try to engage with others. I'm not saying you shouldn't post your, your own things, you shouldn't post your pictures and all of that stuff. But don't just let it be about you. You just come and push your, your, your stuff and you expect people to come and comment, like, and do all of that stuff without you reciprocating the same thing to them. So please, when you go on social media, I mean, what, what I try to do is when I go on social media, I post one thing, then I try and go to others' timelines or my timeline and just engage with the others as you engage people will get to see you and they may come to your own profile and engage with you so please it's social media is not all about you it's social so try to be social push your stuff but don't be too much about it and don't be narcissistic please okay so the third thing you can actually commit on social media has to do with an inconsistent branding i often see a lot of people trying to build a brand for themselves maybe they are in into the speaking business maybe they are into a real business that they have products or services and you see that the branding is so weird it's it's not catchy and it's not consistent and that's the thing sometimes a brand may have a brand which is not so good but i mean they are consistent in, in, in how they produce their content. So anytime someone sees something from them, they know that it's from them. Even though it's not that ideal, but at least you can know that this is from this particular brand. But the biggest mistake you can make with branding is inconsistency. 
trust me because if, if your branding is inconsistent you are creating a sort of confusion in the minds of your customers and people who are likely to buy from you and nobody likes to buy from a confused brand trust me so you don't want to be engaging in this so it sends a bad signal to your followers and no one wants bad signals to their followers so if you are if looking into getting yourself a serious brand you should think through it know what you should do and make sure that it's consistent throughout your social media platforms and all your posts moving on to the second topic for today which has to do with the various social media platforms i'm going to limit it to the 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 main platforms that we all know i'm going to start with linkedin because i'm i'm expecting that most of us here would actually benefit from a linkedin presence personally i think linkedin is a facebook for more professional purposes so linkedin is more like facebook but is its audience is more professional so you see more ceos there you see more uh, serious posts there you don't see very social or casual posts there so most of them are about hr they're about building your business they're about getting clients and all of that stuff so if, if you are someone who wants to get clients if you are someone who wants who hires people you are a hiring manager or something linkedin is a place for you moving on to the second social media platform facebook facebook is the biggest social media platform i'm sure you probably know a lot about facebook so maybe i don't have to say a lot i'm sure you can even give me your own lecture on facebook so facebook is actually very multi-purpose you can use it for a whole lot of things for official for casual just for catching up with friends and all that stuff yeah so moving on to the third social media platform which happens to be instagram instagram is more of a place where you show more lifestyle because it's very visual it has to do more with just posting videos and uh, pictures so if, if you're on instagram you should do more of lifestyle just pictures and maybe letting others know how your day is going if you're a brand you can also do it in a way of telling stories your brand stories how you how work goes on in, in in your office and stuff like that try to be social so that you get to see the other side of you don't always be too serious and all of that kind of stuff so instagram is is, is also a good platform and i mean if you're a business it's, it's also a cool place for you the th- the fourth and not the least is twitter twitter is for day-to-day use sharing of what is happening and getting to know what others are up to is 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 good for getting to know the trend so sometimes you may not be interested in going to read news and all that stuff so if you just go to twitter go to your search you get to see the latest trends what's happening and uh, you can get to be updated on the current news and trends so these are not these are not definitely all of the social media that we have out there the others like pinterest quora a whole lot are, are others so if you are interested you can just search for social media platforms on google you get quite a lot of them <laughs> even strange names to pop up that you've never heard about so yeah feel free explore and you may be surprised what you see so moving on to the core value activities you should be engaging social media is actually a place that you can easily get lost you go in you say oh you are going to post something and before you realize you've not even posted what you want to post but you are lost you are scrolling through people's post and commenting here and there doing a whole lot of things liking and and you even forget what what you came in there to do now most most of the social media platforms allow you to even create or tweak your content right on the app so if you are focusing on creating a very good brand on social media what you should be concentrating on firstly is having a strategy so if you have a strategy for social media in the first episode i spoke about having a goal knowing your audience and knowing what they like so out of answering these questions you'll be able to create a strategy 
And once you create a strategy, the, the strategy should outline the kind of content and all of those details that fits your brand and your audience as well. So once you have a strategy, the second core value activity you should be looking at is creating content. I mean, this is actually undervalued. Sometimes, if you want to look at how most of these celebrities uh, stay relevant on social media, it's actually amazing. They ask questions, they go for photo shoots, they create uh, all sort of unexpected content just to share on social media. I can actually start imagining how much most of them spend on just photo shoot alone. And it's a lot of money. So it's not like they really need these pictures for anything big. I'm sure it's just to post on social media. So that's also their content. They share pictures and share their story. So creating content is very key to social media. And it's at the content creation stage that you actually make sure that your branding is consistent. If you are using a particular style, you should make sure that it covers through all your content. You should make sure that the content you are creating matches whatever your audience likes so that you don't keep sharing and nobody shows any interest in what you share so the third and not the least core activity on social media is sharing regularly and frequently and this one cannot be overemphasized uh, I remember reading a book written by Grant Cardone the 10x rule in that book Grant Cardone makes a, a very good point for why you should you should put out massive amount of content and if you want to look at his theory it actually works looking at people like Gary Vaynerchuk I mean anytime I open my timeline these guys I see I see their post and I always imagine they are the busiest guys on the earth they are always up and doing something so how are they able to create content even though they are busy so these are the kind of questions that stimulate me to be able to create my own content so sometimes you may say that okay sharing frequently and regularly I have work and there are tools to actually help you in doing these things so please usually uh, excuses are just what they are excuses there are other ways to doing it if you really want to do it so moving on to the tools to help you rock your social media presence and social media branding I've grouped them into five of them and they, they, they fall under content creation, content creation, analytics, automation, and feedback. So social media actually entails a lot. To let you know that it's not an easy thing, it doesn't mean that you should give up so early. You can actually do it and as you gain more and more and more exposure, you have more money to invest in social media. You can hire people. But for now, I think the best would be to do it for yourself. And even though it involves a lot, I mean, the ROI is a lot. So content creation is a key aspect of being on social media. You can't just be on social media without posting anything. So make sure you have a content uh, creation tools. There are also tools for creation, analytics, automation, and feedback. So I'm just going to mention the tools with regard to the, the area they, they help you with. So firstly, content creation, there's Canva, Designer, uh, these are just for graphic designs that if you don't know how to use Photoshop and the, the typical design applications or software. If you want to also do video editing, there's Vlog, it's Femora, in short. There's also Grammarly for checking your grammar, spelling, and you don't want to be sending stuff out with filled with grammatical errors and all that stuff. I mean, sometimes the typos happen, but make sure you have Grammarly to help and reduce all of that. If it comes to content curation, we have Feedly, we have Pocket, we have Podcasts, and we have Blogs. So for the blogs, you can just look for blogs related to your area. Then daily, you can select best articles, maybe two or three, then share them to your audience. You also have analytics. All of the social media platforms have their native analytics uh, tools. So Instagram has, Facebook has, Twitter has, LinkedIn has, YouTube has. So apart from these, if you search on Google, the others will pop up. But I mean, as a beginner, just learn to use these and as you advance, you can 
you can use the address most of the others are paid anyway so yeah you can still check them out just google analytics tools for social media you find some there so moving on to feedback if you want to take feedback from your audience you could definitely use google forms you could use survey monkey you can also use polls twitter you can you can create polls on twitter you can just create a post if it's instagram you can just create a simple graphic ask a question and is you post it on instagram stories you can ask questions ask 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 your audience to rate you and these are ways you can use to collect feedback based on your content so that you know what they like and what they don't like so that you don't repeat mistakes and you can improve as you go on so the last is also on automation now when it comes to automation this is actually where you may have to incur some cost but still there are, there are few options there when it comes to automation i mainly use buffer hood suite and status view all of them are paid but they also have free options that you can you can use as well so the free is actually the basic one it's limited but you can use it for the meantime and so these are my top picks for the various uh, areas of social media branding they are definitely Definitely not the only ones. These are my personal picks, and if you, I'm sure you get, you may even get better ones once you do your own search. So yeah, this brings us to the end of today's episode. I've taken you to a number of subtopics. You may have to listen to the podcast over and over again because I think I've, I, I went through it quite quickly. So uh, you can listen to it over a few times just to get a good grasp of everything that I've said. So my final thoughts on this topic building a personal brand on social media a very powerful brand not just any brand on social media so what i actually want you to know if you are not taking anything out of this uh, what is the name these two episodes the thing you should get is that you are a publisher whether you are a, you are a business you are an individual a celebrity whatever you do once you're on social media you should get to know that you're a publisher as i mentioned earlier people like Gary Vaynerchuk they are very busy Gary Vaynerchuk is actually arguing for things like documenting instead of creating documenting is a very sustainable way of creating content because it's basically creating content on the go uh, through your life and what you experience on a daily basis so you don't have to go and sit down and create some theories so I really like his approach to creating content so what you need to know is that you're a publisher whoever or whatever you do you are a publisher and this is because the social media has made it a necessity to share and you have to keep sharing so as a brand what you do is that you should keep sharing something that exposes people to your brand be it your personal pictures or whatever other content you can create for yourself and what social media actually boils down to and i think most people are losing touch of is the genuineness of 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 the the content they should create if you are creating content it should be genuine you don't have to go out of your way to create content that is unrealistic the last thing is that own your publications and own your brand so these are the key things that i have to say about building a personal brand it's actually the end of the the topic on this podcast and we will may revise later on so yeah moving on to what you should expect later on if you have any questions you can send on a voice message i do hope that you are enjoying the season it's a season of merrymaking and be careful outside there there are people who are not looking for your safety and have other agendas so just take notes and god bless see you next week